I have some secrets to share with you about finding the most affordable homes here in the United States. I know many of you have been super frustrated over the last couple of years trying to find yourself a very affordable home only to be outbid by institutional investors. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the ways you can find an affordable home and not have to worry about institutional investors bidding against you. If you're interested in a manufactured home or a modular home, I have some tips for you about that as well. In the end, you're going to be saving yourself a buttload of money. But I will warn you, these things are going to definitely take a lot Lot more patience than your traditional home sale. My most favorite way to tell people to find an affordable home that they don't have to fight investors for, and I've said it several times in previous videos, but if you haven't watched my channel before, you probably never heard of it, is to go to hudhomestore.gov. On that specific website, it will show you all the foreclosed properties in that area. The best thing about hudhomestore.gov is they will allow for single family owner occupants to put in the first bids and will hold off investors. And I think it starts at like 14 days. Sometimes the bidding time is a little bit longer than that, but that is a super easy way to find a foreclosed property. Not only that, they do have a pre-inspection that comes with the house. I wouldn't count on that as the inspection for your house. Definitely do your own inspection on that. And they're always willing to give a little bit in closing costs and they accept FHA, conventional VA financing. Not all of those houses will qualify for VA, but it will let you know in the listing itself if they do qualify for VA. But that right there is a the number one way to find an affordable house, but I got some more for you too. Now I get asked about this all the time because people will say, well, I saw a house on Zillow and it says pre-foreclosure. When it comes to that information, it is a little misguided. Just because somebody has missed a payment or sometimes that will end up on Zillow because the couple is getting divorced and the paperwork gets kind of screwed up and it will say that it's in pre-foreclosure. That doesn't mean it's in foreclosure. So don't, don't count on that. But what I would count on is to look to see which ones are kind of in distress. <laughs> you get in your car, you start driving around and you can see homes that don't necessarily look like they should. That's when I would go on your tax assessor's website, look up the address and see who owns it. In some cases, you're gonna find out it's a rental property and that's why it's not being taken care of. But in other cases, it might be in the case that they're almost in the point of foreclosure. That's when I would start getting out a pen and paper and start writing a long letter on how you could help them get out of their house before they go through the foreclosure process. Now, I wanna tell you this has worked in the past, but with today's real estate market, most people are gonna to wanna to go ahead and try to list it themselves. But in some cases, some people are like, well, that was my grandma's house, I'm letting my nephew live there and we really don't want it anymore anyway. So make them an offer they can't refuse. This really works if you're a cash buyer and not if you're a finance buyer, but it's something to definitely look into. Now, another way to find an affordable home is to go to real estate auctions. And you might have a hard time finding where the real estate auctions are, but you can look online. They have tons of online bidding. The problem with that is in many cases, you're not going to be able to preview the property ahead of time. Now, in some cases, they do put out that list about a few hours ahead of time to let you know where the houses are and you're gonna have to take a quick tour and you have to look inside to see how bad they are. But some other auction houses will give you ample time. They'll let you know it's going to be open for auction in about 14 days. Again though, most likely they're not gonna let you inside. It is what it is. So you have to do a really good exam with your eyes. If you're unsure of the value of the area, this is when it's a perfect time to hire a real estate agent specifically in that area to kind of help you give you an estimate of how much homes are going for. They'll do what they call a cost market analysis to let you know what other things have sold for in that area in the same square footage. They can also let you know if the neighborhood is going down in value or up in value. And if you were planning on using this house as a rental in the future, they can also let you know how much rent is going for in that area as well. But it's definitely something you can do yourself. You're just going to have to do a little bit of more due diligence and preparing yourself in certain areas that you want to move ahead of time. In most cases, these homes are in severe distress. So if you're trying to get a mortgage on them, it's going Going to be very, very difficult. You're probably going to end up purchasing the house, fixing it up, getting it all up to code, and then you would be able to put a mortgage on it. If you know me and you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I love manufactured homes. First of all, because they're super affordable. Secondly of all, they're easy to finance. Thirdly of all, it gets people out of that rat race of renting. But here lately, manufactured homes haven't been necessarily the most affordable things. They've run into the same kinds of delays, just like all home builders waiting 
on building materials. So if you ordered one off the lot, sometimes it's taking 18 to 20 months just to have it delivered to your site. So this time frame to set up a brand new manufactured home can cost you a lot more than you anticipated. But here's the thing, if you buy an existing manufactured home that's already set up on a piece of land, they've already done that initial expense. And they went through that whole nightmare of trying to wait for one to be delivered. I know in many areas, it's very difficult to find a manufactured home that's listed by a real estate company, but have no fear. Believe it or not, you can go on websites like Trulia, Zillow, even Realtor.com, they'll have them listed. You just make sure that you select in the little categories there that you're looking for a manufactured home. They'll have it as a distinction. So that way you're not getting all the condos and stuff. You, you're just looking for manufactured homes. I know that it's even more difficult if you're looking for a manufactured home that's in a manufactured home community. This is one of those times that if you're looking for that, you're going to want to meet with all the manufactured home managers in that specific area and ask them when new ones are coming on the market to have them give you a call. This is one of those things that you wouldn't be using a real estate agent for because you're going to be using a different kind of loan package. Usually real estate brokers do not list manufactured homes that are in a park that has the land that's rented underneath it. But if you want a super mega deal when it comes to a manufactured home, you can buy the, some that are repossessed, foreclosed on manufactured homes that are not attached to land. And you're like, well, how do I find these? Well, there, this is a cool thing, but you're going to have to do a little legwork ahead of time. First of all, you're going to want to call the lenders in your area that do lending for manufactured homes and ask them when their next auction is for the repossessed manufactured homes. If you're not sure if there's any lenders in your area that do this, I know that 21st Mortgage is one of the most popular throughout the United States when it comes to manufactured homes, and they do have a large list of repossessed properties. Another place you could find a repossessed or even someone that's giving away a manufactured home is to look on Craigslist. I want you to be very, very careful when you do this. Make sure they actually own the manufactured home that they're getting rid of. It's very common here in Louisiana for people to buy a manufactured home while their current home is being built. So they'll purchase it, they'll put it on the front of the property. Once the house is built, they go ahead and move it and they'll sell it for really, really cheap. Another place you may want to look for a manufactured home that's being resold that isn't attached to land is Facebook. I want you to make sure that they own that manufactured home. Look to see their title work that they have with it. Just like anything, you got to do a little due diligence and a little research ahead of time. Now, just know that when you buy a repossessed manufactured home and you put it on a piece of land, you're most likely not going to be able to refinance it and get a traditional 30-year mortgage on it because you can only move a manufactured home one time, meaning from the lot that it was purchased from and the lot that it was put on once in order for it to qualify for a traditional loan package like an FHA, VA. So if you're buying a repossessed one, you're not gonna be able to get a traditional mortgage on it. Now, someone in my comment section said something extremely interesting to me, and it was about her sister who bought a repossessed manufactured home. In 2003, my sister bought a manufactured home that had smoke damage from a computer fire. That damage was part of a wall. Because it was titled like a vehicle, the home was total. She bought a lot, and then the manufactured home was free. Within three weeks, she had repaired the damage at the cost of $2,000 in materials and some hard scrubbing, painting, and carpet. She had the home reinspected and the title reinstated within three weeks. She had a $40,000 in equity and her new home with the land was a payment of $125 a month. Now, I want to tell you, sometimes when you're looking for raw land or just land itself, if you look on there, they'll say home on the property is being sold at no value, meaning that the house that's on the property has been totaled out by an insurance company, so they're not selling it at any value with the piece of land itself. This is a good thing for you for many reasons. Because of the fact that all the utilities have already been set to that piece of property, you have nothing to worry about with that expense. But she got herself a heck of a deal because she was able to make sure everything was back up to code and then turned it into real property. So that's something to be looking for if you're looking for a piece of land. Find one that has a house on it, but it's being sold at no additional value. For a manufactured home deal, for one that's been repossessed, ask the companies that move the manufactured homes because a lot of times they're the ones that have to move them off the property when they've been repossessed. So they'll let you know exactly where they're putting them on in a different lot. And that way you can get a hold of that company that where they're storing them at and find out when the auctions are. I've seen some of these go as little as a couple thousand dollars. Just know that you're going to have to pay for it to be moved off of that location. And that can cost you as little as $3,000 up to $10,000, depending on how far down the road you're having to move it to. Now there's many other 
ways to find affordable homes. These were just some of the things I've touched on. Now, if you'd like me to go into more detail on how some of these things work, let me know in the comments section below. To watch more videos about manufactured homes and modular home building, go ahead and watch these videos right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.